Okay, hi everyone. So Daryl here. Uh, this is actually the actual site of Club Residences Sukhumvit 23. Yeah, we just visited the sales gallery. So this is the actual site. Uh, what I'm going to do, right, I'm just going to try to walk to the main road. Okay, so the developer is Riesland. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of the... I mean, we just started working with this developer maybe a couple of months back. Okay, this uh, this project right is deeper inside the soil, so it's uh, you actually come out from Aso BTS station and you head over uh, and you can just walk in. So actually, this area right uh, for those people who are into like partying right, the, there are loads of clubs. Happy New Year 2020. Okay, so. If you're looking down, uh, you want to come for a countdown. There's one here. Okay, so this is uh, Sukhumvit 23. It's actually a kink. So like, it goes straight and then there's like a kink and then after that, go straight again. So there are like clubs and everything all here. If you guys are not familiar, right, this area is like a little bit of a like party type of place. It's a high-end uh, development by SESS, I think, is on the right. There's this chunky burger thing, which I... I walk past and then I just think that I'm, I'm going to try it someday. So if, uh... Please do your nails. Okay, so we're down about like two and a half minutes. I think we're about third down. So I think okay, we'll see how long it takes to get to Asok BTS station. I'm actually in the midst of the property tour. So uh, there are people, I mean the people who are we fast on the tour, then uh, they're behind. Okay, this is Shaka Premium Outlet. I'm not a fashion kind of guy, but it uh, looks quite interesting, so you can see. Okay, so there's this clubhouse, sports bar and grill. At this junction here. So this is where you, I mean if you're coming from the main BTS station then this is where you will actually uh, turn right. So I'm here turning left back to the BTS station. So the roads are pretty wide. 
easy to navigate. So it's a Scruffy Murphy's Irish pub here. Kind of interesting. It's all painted red. So they have like uh, live spots and stuff. Okay, so we're almost to the main road. Okay, I'll see whether uh, they will be walking to Asok BTS station. So I just, uh, I'll try to record to the main road first. Then you can see whether we can continue to Asok BTS station. Okay, uh, hi everyone, so Daryl here. Uh, we're, we're actually on our quarterly Invest Bangkok property tour and I kind of lost the tour, the, the tour group, so... So now, now what I'm going to do, right? Okay, we actually went to visit this uh, Cloud Sukhumvi 23 over at uh, Sukhumvi Soy 23 and I think that I was actually recording the walk back from the condominium to the to Asok BTS station so that's our first stop for the day and the next one is that so that's an uncompleted project so uh, if, you, if buyers want to buy they're buying off plan okay I'll flip it around and uh so the first first stop we actually saw an off-plan uh, project, and now we are going to a completed one. It's actually Noble B thirty three uh, B thirty three. I've actually been dealing with uh, like Thai properties for some pretty long time already. I think in in most standards but yeah so there's like quite nice places here digress a bit okay if you if you are looking for if you are looking for a property in thailand uh, in bangkok then uh, like aso uh Prom Pong, these are places which uh, should be within your consideration generally because uh, the neighborhood is good and location-wise, uh, pretty prime. So this reddison blue, I uh, think previous participants actually stayed at reddison blue. Quite good, quite good location. So for future uh, future tours, if you're coming to join us, you can consider this reddison blue walking distance to Asok BTS station and Carlton Hotel is right next to it okay generally what happened I I did the video of the condominium to the BTS station and I think they just decided to just walk to the to Nova B33 so I'm trying to catch up because I was waiting for them there. Okay, so this is what we do.
And amazingly, right, uh, Bangkok is warm. It was reported that it would be cool. So I'm genuinely disappointed. Okay, um, Kevin and myself, we, we always frequent around Asok, Prompong, Hong Lo. These are the areas which we frequent. And we don't frequent them uh, as tourists. We frequent them as, frequent them as people who come to Bangkok very often, uh, have businesses in Bangkok. And And, I mean, despite what a lot of people say, right? If you're investing, please make a trip down to the location which you think you would want to invest in. So if you're looking for a property and I say, Prom Pong, please come here, take a look. Okay, look across there, that's EM Sphere. Okay, that's, uh, there's a lot of, that's EM Sphere. Uh, EM Quartier is on my left as in further further in front and the Emporium is right in front there uh, opposite EM Quartier as well so there's a there are three high-end malls which are in this area of course EM Sphere is coming up so you go to EM Quartier you go to Emporium you see the crowd there and you understand who are your clientele who are your tenants who are rent so you can see like Japanese just walk past me so you go down on the ground ask around and then see what are people spending so the thing about property investment is that a lot of people just say, okay, I listen to the agent. But you shouldn't. You shouldn't even listen to like Kevin and myself. We're just here to provide you information or like videos for you to make an informed decision. So you should be deciding on your own. So we can only recommend. And of course, when people say, I want to, I want to start a start looking for properties then I always say Aso Prom Pong Hong Lo okay and then so why uh, central business district area up market even the wealthy ties are around here I should show you guys when you go down to the EM quartier the car park there's actually super car parking so if your car is not deemed to be super car to your supercar then you have to park in the mechanical car park that's how that's how the area is a bit discriminatory but then you get the you get the idea okay so they are going to meet me at uh, Noble B33 so I effectively lost like the whole crowd and there I go so this B33 so I effectively walked from Asok BTS to B33 took me about what, 7 minutes thereabouts I say Soy 33 so now I'm going to start at Soy 33 Okay, so this, uh, this is pretty exciting because about a year ago, we sold some units of B33 to some buyers. Uh, shout out to our buyers. Uh, we, can't, can't, we can't name names, right? On a video. But yeah, we did. Uh, we did uh, market and sold to some buyers. So now they are already in the midst of transferring the title inspecting the units and what we're going to do for this tour is that this is actually the second stop of our tour 
we are going to show everyone a completed project. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so here I am, here I am walking to Noble B33. If you guys uh, have not realized, uh, Noble is one of my favorite developers in Bangkok. I always think that their uh, projects are located in pretty good locations and their finishing is rather decent. Although I would say that uh, in terms of uh, quality wise or maybe the facade of the of the um, building they could actually improve it uh, uh, loads of roadside stalls by the side So here we are. Ah, a bit, a bit tired from the walk. Yeah. Uh, we got appointment. Sale. Ah, sale, sale. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So. So we're just here. Okay, hey, pretty nice. So they're in the midst of like handing everything over. As you can see the building. Okay, one thing I, I need to say about uh, Noble is that their buildings tend to be a little bit unflattering in the sense that I think that more could be spent in the uh, in the form of trying to design something a little bit more uh, ex um, I mean a little bit more contemporary. So Noble always has this like one whole block of buildings then. Uh, then uh, it's all like brown, grey, you know. So I think, I mean, if you look at this, right, it, it kind of looks a bit like Noble Planchet as well. And this is a newly completed building. Okay, and that's the lobby. So I'm waiting for the rest. Very nice environment. And uh, walking distance to the uh, to Prom Pong BTS station, I actually uh, took the longer route from Asok here. Okay, so that's all. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm actually on the 29th level of Noble B33. So this is a this is a project which we sold previously. Now completed already. Uh, we're actually on our quarterly invest Bangkok property tour okay so this is actually what you are going to get that's that what fly yoga I mean um, I've tried yoga before but I haven't tried fly yoga aerial yoga aerial yoga okay so this is like a sky lounge okay so you can see the sky lounge 
So you got like a lounge area. So everyone is outside at the pool area. Okay, so for our clients who have bought B33, I mean you would have already come and inspected your unit, most of you. Okay, so this is the view. Okay, so uh, over there is Celeste Asso. We were previously also marketing. Ashton. Let's Carlton. And Sean is bringing people in. Okay, so that's all. See you in the next video. Okay, so now I'm actually at the actual unit of a two bedroom at Noble B33. Okay, so this is what you actually get. Okay, uh, I gotta turn on the lights. Okay, so you see, uh, this is actually what you get. So these are the switches and all the the doors. So you get like this wardrobe. This is a, this is an actual unit to be handed over. Okay. Oh, never It's okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, so we're actually uh, looking at actual units. Okay. So see you guys next video. Okay. So we're about done. Uh, I mean, we're we're done with lunch. Uh, we actually had lunch at Roast, so I'll, I'll have some photographs of what we had. Uh, it was pretty good. So we're heading over to Tong Law BTS station. Then we're going to visit uh, the Strand. And then this other project, I can't remember what's the name, but uh, suddenly offhand. Okay, so we're heading there. See you in the next video. Okay, hi everyone. So Daryl here. I'm actually at uh, Tong Lo BTS station, and I'm gonna walk to the Strand. So the Strand Tong Lo is located very, very close to uh, Tong Lo BTS station. So if you're not uh, already aware, like Kevin and myself, uh, we normally recommend clients to look at uh, like areas like Tong Lo or Prom Pong, Aso. Uh, Tong Lo and uh, Tong Lo and Ekamai, these areas, they are Japanese, uh, generally, uh, there are a lot of Japanese here. The, popular and famous Japanese restaurants are here as well as uh, you know if there are a lot of expatriates that are living in this area uh, generally because amenities wise uh, pretty adequate uh, there are a lot of good restaurants good food uh, there are good schools in the area so if like you you uh, you have kids as an expatriate then you want to send them to international schools, then there are international schools here. So this is really close. And that's the strand. Okay, so there only a cross. So I'm waiting to cross, and it's just there only. Okay, so you see this road, uh, this is Sukhumvit Soy 55 and if you lead all the way in, uh, it goes into... Uh, leads to all the loads of good restaurants and everything. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have actually mentioned uh, about uh, Tong Lo Soy 10, which is all the way in. Uh, that's where one of my favourite developments is coming up, which is Pao Origin Tong Lo. Okay, so that's the Strand Residences, so we'll take a look.
Hey, so my colleague Sean, right, who's behind me, uh, is telling everyone where to eat along this main road. Okay, so if you're uh, that's famous mango sticky rice, then uh, I think there's a Guma somewhere here. But anyway, we reached the Strand Residences. It took us about three minutes. Uh, we were stuck at the station, hey, at the at the junction for a while. Yeah, so we'll go in. We'll go in. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay. okay. So we'll see you guys. Okay, so uh, last stop, day one of our December 2019 Bangkok property tour. We're at Lavik Sokomvit 57. Okay, so the strand, which we just came from, just across the road. Just there. Okay, and uh, we were in the, like, okay, imagine this, the back. So there's an access from uh, 57, but the other end of the strand, right, is 55. Okay, so you can see two bedrooms starts from 25 million baht they put there. Okay, so this is uh, pretty prime Bangkok. Lavik just completed. Uh, no residences here yet. So they are, they are doing the defects check handover starting in January but we are here because we want to compare the uncompleted to the completed and just one street away right uh, you can see the price difference so here we are so we are uh, they're actually uh, opening up the un some units for us to take a look and yeah so that's all uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video we'll be going up to take a look Okay, see you guys.